Good morning, creative ones. It's Melissa D'Antoni. I'm live here in Los Angeles. It is 7.30. No, actually, it's 8 o'clock because we're running a little bit late. 8 a.m. Sunday, Monday morning. And it is good evening to those of you on the other side of the world. A couple updates. We had a little bit of technology issues this morning, so I wasn't able to stream live from Blue Jeans, which means I won't be able to share my screen and go through and share with you the slides. So I'll post them in a link below so that you can check them out. Hey, Melissa Graham. Melissa, my Melissa. What's up, sisters? Hey, Tanisha. I'm so excited about this training. So also, unfortunately, Arihia's son um, has also a three-year-old. Not unfortunate for that because he's a just gem. But the, he had uh, the stomach flu this week, and she woke up this morning with this, or this evening. It's, it's evening there in Perth, Australia. She woke up with this, or she has the stomach flu. So I'm going to lead the training today. We were planning to do it together. We both created this content together. So her energy is very much in uh the alchemy of this uh activation and we're so excited to share this juicy content with you it's like cutting edge stuff nobody's talking about this we've experienced it we want to share it with you we want to give you the tools we want to empower you and then we want to invite you into our mastermind that starts this week it is a six-month international mastermind for a highly selected small intimate group of women mothers entrepreneurs who are so deeply committed to living on purpose and know that that is um what's required to birth this new mother template what we're calling the new mother template you know this isn't just a program it is a movement it is a movement for leaders it's an invitation for mothers to rise to really rise in our sovereignty and our passion and our purpose and our prosperity and our power and um, get our visions out in the world because that's what's going to create the new earth. That's what's going to create this new next evolutionary growth cycle that we are all here, you know, at this potent time in the earth's lifespan to carry forth and to create and to co-create. So that's what this group is all about. Um, of course, <clears throat> if you're not, if you don't feel super called yet to the mastermind, and, and I will tell you, this is like you can't hide in this mastermind. We want a selected group of women, of mothers, of creatives, of change agents who are not fucking around. You know, you're playing full out. You're totally committed to your vision, your mission, your children, um, to being prosperous, to being in your full self-expression, and to. Um, showing up fully, not just for you, but for the collective, for the group, for the world, for mothers um, all over. Because when we rise, then everyone else um, has space to do the same. Yeah, a la Marianne Williamson. Um, so if you have questions or comments uh, during this content, um, please feel free to uh, write or just tell me hello. Let me know where you're um, watching from. Um, I'm not, I'm going to go through a couple of my notes here in terms and take you through the slides. I'm sorry. I can't show them. I haven't figured out how to do that on Facebook, but that's why we use blue jeans, but it wasn't, uh, streaming into the group. So I'll post the slides so you can go back and look at, um, the slides later on and have that content because it's really, really juicy. It's awesome. So from poor house to powerhouse, what keeps mothers stuck? What keeps mama stuck? We have this, con and, and this is the fourth initiation. Is this the third initiation <clears throat> that we have in our five day series of the initiations that, that mothers have to go through to truly claim their empowerment, to truly claim our full power and potential as creatives, as visionaries, as mothers, you know? Um, Again, this new mother template is really about birthing the um, the, the essence that your soul self-expression is the you living on purpose and being committed and channeling your creative life force, your creative energy, your, you know, what we called in the last training, one of the last trainings, your money pot, you know, your joy, your passion, your life force, right? Like as women, that is our, that is our gold. Um, and so when we channel that in really co-creative and deliberate ways, that's where manifestation happens. That's where, 
um, we, we feel that alignment. That's when we feel really supported and everyone around us, including our children, thrive. I will tell you, I'm on a world tour right now with my daughter, uh, doing my retreats. We're still in the U.S. We're going to be in the U.S. until probably November, um, beginning of December, um, if all goes well. And when I made the decision to travel with her, you know, I mean, she's, she's designed like her human design is she needs that activation of different people in different places to really bring out her full development. So she's kind of perfect for this. And of course she is. She's my daughter, right? Like I believe that our children choose us as parents and it's up to us to live in our full self-expression, to live in our full purpose so that we radiate that to our children. Because when we're living our true purpose, when we're living from soul and we're making decisions that are led by our intuition, not by society, not by our man, not by our family of origin, not by our government or what other mothers or the, you know, um, the old ways of doing things that we know don't serve us. Like we know this on some level. So this is an activation to call you forward, to call you into your power and to really, um, I invite you to join us in this movement together because we, we can't do it alone. We have to do it together. And I will tell you that my experience with Arahia, Arahia, just the way that we've connected and the way that we have co-created and come to, to share in this journey um, you know, as co-facilitators has been nothing but epic. I mean, you can't make this up. It's like, it's been so fluid and it's like we've known each other forever, you know, in the ability to, um, to come together and serve at this level. You know, we're both, it's part of our soul's purpose. We're very passionate about this work and about supporting you. Um, okay, so how, a little quick too, just if you don't know about me or Adahia, you can look back at the other trainings. Um, Adahia is also an intuitive coach. Um, she is, you also use a sound and movement and her background is, her mother is full uh, Maori. I'm probably mispronouncing it, but um, Maori from New Zealand. So she has that name. She really brings a rich native spiritual, uh, cultural tradition to this work. We both work in a very creative, visionary, um, shamanic way using the arts and using quantum tools, which we're going to support you um, in aligning your business and really shifting from that kind of poorhouse scarcity mentality into being that powerhouse mama that is unapologetic and living in her creativity and her full self-expression. So juicy. Um, so we're, we have a lot of fun together. And I think that that speaks volumes from the energy that we're going to create in here and then also in our private mastermind. So how to play the inner game of vibrational wealth to elevate your wealth, your joy, your connecting, your relationships, your business, your fulfillment, and really your creativity too. I think we should add that one. Um, we're going to reveal how you can tighten your money ship. I love it. And dive into the scarcity we feel as mothers around time, energy, love, and worthiness. So we pulled in a lot of different groups and talked to a lot of different mothers um, in doing our research and putting this together. And, you know, we're mothers too. We both have three-year-olds. We're both, um, I'm an independent mother. She um, co-parents with her child's father, but she's also, you know, so she's, She's, I guess, an independent mother too, but still co-parenting. <laughs> and um, she, so we, you know, one of the biggest things in honoring ourselves, you know, as mothers, as um, entrepreneurs, is that scarcity mentality that we are so conditioned, right? That we have to break free from. It really is an initiation. I remember when I... Um, was pre felt pregnant and it was totally unexpected and I was super excited, but I was always also like, okay, I don't think my partner's going to be, you know, her, um, her biological father is going to be super reliable. I'm going to have to figure out how to do this on my own, you know, and on my own terms in a way that felt really healthy and nourishing and supporting of me. So I could not sit, thank God I had done a lot of abundance you know, work and wealth consciousness work, because even though I had some of those fears that I think it's a whole different level when you're a single mom, right? When you're, that's the old template, the single mom is so rooted in scarcity. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, 
that so 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 that definitely was like behind my head but i knew i knew what i was being called to do i knew that i was being called to overcome that fear and to up level my my wealth consciousness game to up level my um experience of creating abundance because that's what i've been called to teach that's what i was learning that's what i was learning to master and this was really just inviting me to do it and and to clear the shame you know around doing it on my own that we feel in society that i feel like single mothers have carried for years even um you know um to in order to actually do it and that's what i did so i decided i'm going to do this on my own i'm going to figure it out and um, i'm going to do it on my own terms um and it's been really really powerful journey ever since and it, it hasn't been easy i'm not going to sit here and tell you it's like been really easy but i invested in myself i got a really good coach i got a really good business coach who gave me the structures and the systems and that's what we're going to be sharing with you too so that i could get my income up to twenty thousand a month um working part-time while also really being available for my daughter and then launching really amazing content and doing work on purpose and traveling and doing what i love you know so um let's dive into the slides and again i will post them sorry we've had a little bit of technology issues this morning for me is that um here we go so from the new mother template from scarcity to prosperity um so important that we um that we really make it's a choice right is it a choice to stay in the mindset of scarcity and limitation and um, being controlled being enslaved into that uh, paradigm um, or we're really calling you forward into prosperity into seeing what's possible for you when you choose to be a leader to be the leader of your life to be the leader of your mission to be the leader of your family and to do it for your children because when we do this we break the cycle and we also show others there's a new way there is a new way and it's totally possible but there's things you need to know and there's things that you need to grow areas where you need to grow in stuff that needs to get healed so that you have more life force so that you have more energy so that you get activated and on purpose and then you know my experience is everything else kind of falls away the relationships that aren't really serving you they fall away when you're living on purpose and when you're honoring yourself when you heal certain things some things don't feel you know um as interesting or captivating to you um when you feel um you know uh yeah when you're focused on your business and you're focused and you see how much your joy is the core of your ability to manifest to and play and pleasure and how really shifting your awareness around your body and how energy is moving for you and where that could be draining and where and doing the healing work too around when you start to you know i think a lot of people resist this because at the heart level, they we get attached. We get attached to people, um, and it's really you know, or we get attached to circumstances or places or and things and environments. And it's like when you clean all that up and you simplify and you really streamline your energy, um, amazing things can happen. And it's an emotional journey, and we're going to give you the tools and the support to support you through that. So, poor house or powerhouse? I love this. Um, breaking the spell of money from scarcity to abundance for mamas. This is huge. Breaking the spell of money. So we're talking about this is this is about calling your power back um, from places where you give your power away around money, but it's also about calling your power back from money. And if you are by chance in my abundant creative group, we've been going through the prosperity plan by John Randolph Price, and um, you know that is really about calling your power back from money because as a society as a culture we have over identified and given our power away to money like money defines our worthiness um how much our freedom um our uh 
joy at times, you know, so you want to break the spell, break the codependent pattern that you need a certain money amount of money to be happy. Because once you do that, and I know I can speak specifically to this, um, you know, when I got my income to 20,000 a month, um, doing coaching programs and trainings, and I was spending the summers on Martha's Vineyard and traveling with my daughter and I had nannies and, you know, all this support, right? Um, I took, I actually did that for consistently for about five months. And then I took my foot off the gas and I stopped and I was kind of burnt out because I realized it was coming and, and this is some of the deeper work that I had to do around breaking the spell of money. It was coming from a deep need of validation, like money, like, I, like it was coming from needing to prove something. And, and it was like something that I had inherited around money and worthiness that I had to prove my worthiness, you know, through making this amount of money. It was a very masculine approach to money, right? So then I had to clear that, heal that, shift that, and come into a more integrated, you know, balance between my own masculine and feminine ways of relating with money. And we're going to go into that in a little bit. So from codependency to co-creation with money and with people in our lives, whether it's your partner and you share finances with, you know, it's cleaning all those money, money um, energy leaks, um, using your intuition and knowing where you are leaking money, you are leaking power, and it's filling those gaps, healing the masculine to free your money. So this is huge. So many women, so many mamas, so many creative visionaries stop taking action in their business. And I have done this. Both Arihi and I have done this. So we know it's part of the initiation. So don't shame. There's no shame in it. But awareness is key. If you have healing that needs to happen on the masculine nine, and sometimes, you know, there are deeper layers, right? Like, uh, from, from my experience, I heal something sometimes. And then, you know, there's a layer of something else that comes up that needs to be revealed, like a deeper layer. So just be mindful of, how you run your masculine energy um, and masculine energy is decisiveness it's focus it's taking action it's being assertive i see a lot of people in the rising feminine movement like so feminine that they they really um they really uh almost offended by assertiveness and business and for when for for you to be successful in business you have to be assertive you have to and if you're a leader if you're a visionary you have to learn how to be assertive because you'll never get your message out there and you will never put assert your visions into the world right and actualize them without that assertiveness and without taking action and without speaking up um super super important so it's really we're going to be focusing on healing the masculine line and doing massive karmic clearings on these typically ancestral, but also collective patterns in the collective around the wounded masculine. You know, we see this a lot in the U.S. Um, with our leadership and, and having, you know, uh, a lot of wounded sort of patriarchal um, paradigm driving the force of our country. And it's really showing us all these areas that need to be healed and we have to break the cycles of abuse. So we're going to show you how to clean that up. It's, it's energy work. It's really fun. We work multidimensionally. So you're actually, it's not just energy work. We clear it through all the dimensions. Um, and it's going to free up so much energy and creative life force in your business because it is a form of soul retrieval. So the feminine too. So then we clear the feminine relationship with money. So the feminine line, this is listening, it's leading with intuition, but it's also that like you, you know, my experience of abundance since I, especially since I've been an entrepreneur and even more so as a, as a mother has been like, you can do so much even without money. And so, you know, I think money is important and we're, and, it's really important. In fact, this mastermind that we're launching this week is all about up leveling and getting you comfortable with money. And it's not going to stay for you if you are attached to this is the only source of how I'm going to feel free or safe and secure. So we're going to teach you how to cultivate that vibrationally, right? So in your own vibration, we're going to give you the tools. We're going to use creative alchemy and karmic alchemy and some other quantum tools so that you can shift into feeling safe, secure, 
that sense of survival at a vibrational level, um, mastering your own energy flow first and foremost, because the key to manifestation is that it has to happen first, right? And then, and then the material, right? So we have a little saying, visualize, alchemize, and then materialize. So that's going to be the core process of how we create in the art of mothering like a boss mama. Um, so again, feminine abundance is like just beyond money. It's like housing showing up and the right people and the right opportunities and people bringing gifts and foods and, you know, just manifesting. Like, you know, the other day I was like, oh, we, you know, we're traveling. And I was like, I don't know what happened to my exercise bra. And then I was a friend's house in, in Los Angeles here, a dear friend and a powerful mama. Um, and I didn't have a bathing suit and they had a pool and the girls were, all the kids were getting ready to go in the pool. And she's like, oh, I have something that you can wear. In fact, you can have this. And it was, it was an exercise bra, you know? So it's just like manifesting like that. Like that's the feminine law of abundance because it's not so attached to this tangible form, linear form around money. So once you open up your prosperity to experiencing that, to receiving and clearing the lines where we receive is so powerful. And that's healing the feminine line. So we're going to be healing the masculine line. We're going to do, be doing karmic clearings on the feminine line and really looking at the areas where these patterns that you've inherited, like these belief systems, these patterns, this unhealed trauma around not being good enough, that they're really running our ancestral line, but also our DNA and our cultural program. We're going to show you how to clear those because without that, you're going to stay blocked, right? And it's fun. It's quick. It doesn't take years of therapy. It just takes your consciousness, your willingness, and to be consistent when it shows up and moving through it. Um, it's so, you know, the, I feel like it's so crucial for us if we want to be prosperous, truly prosperous, that we own the value of our spiritual and creative gifts, that we own the value and the worthiness of our visions and our soul's purpose. If we don't, then we, nobody else will. So, so much of this from a financial perspective is, um, owning the value of your vision and your work and your mission and your soul's purpose. Because if we're looking outside of ourselves, which we're so conditioned to do in our culture, but if we continue to do that, um, we give our power away. So it's really about self-validation. And we're going to support you in owning your power and being self-validated so that you can ask for the sale, so that you can um, put your pricing out there, so that you can stand firmly backing yourself backing your work, backing your mission, and you have a whole tribe behind you that also supports you as well. But it first and foremost has to come from you. If you, if you don't believe it, you know, and I think this is really important, like as a coach and a facilitator um, and a catalyst for years, like I can't work with clients that aren't that committed to owning their own self-validation and taking that journey because it would just be super codependent and that's not really empowering anyway. I mean, at the heart of my work, it's always been the empowerment of women. So we have to change out of those relational structures and really when it comes to money and your relationship with self is first and foremost. We're going to teach you how to sell with soul. I don't know if you can feel it, but like we are so passionate about, we are so excited. We get, get so jazzed about this content, about this group, about creating this for you. And um, hopefully you feel that energetically. It's what I call vibrational marketing. Because if you're not excited about what you're doing, nobody else is going to either. And it goes back to backing yourself and making sure that you're lining up your energy with what you're doing. Like if you're not turned on, nobody else is going to be turned on. So we're going to show you how to light up your passion, how to make sure that you're in alignment with what you want and clear the beliefs, clear the stuff that's keeping you from taking action and fully expressing yourself. Um, so we're going to teach selling with soul and also how to get intimate with your numbers, right? How to get intimate with your, um, your numbers and make it really super simple and easy for you. That is the biggest challenge that I've had as an entrepreneur, as a creative visionary. It's like the numbers are the last thing. It's the first thing I want to delegate. I think a, a, um, a 
uh, QuickBooks, my bookkeeper was the first person I hired in my business. And I've always had a bookkeeper because it's not my genius. It's not my zone of genius. So I've always um, delegated that out. And I've learned over the years, I can't delegate it out without out staying on top of it with them as well. So we're gonna teach you the tricks on the behind the scenes stuff around money and money flow and setting up your business in a really simple way that works for you. We're gonna share the things that works for us, but we're also gonna empower you to create your own systems that work for you, your business, and your mission. So we're gonna start with the energetic blueprint, go into the soul's purpose, um, and then from there your messaging and really tweaking the foundation of your business to make sure that it's totally lined up with soul and what and your calling and what you're here to do. So we talked about freeing, uh, healing the masculine line. Yeah. And healing anything, any, any trauma that you have on the masculine line with your father, with your baby's father, um, you know, uh, anything around protection or other, any other men or father figures in your life, bosses in the past, any, any part of your soul that needs to be reclaimed, we're going to create space and um, invite you into that process where you actually get to do the soul retrieval. So our shamanic approach is very much uh, part of the new order and the new template of, you know, we believe that you have the creative and healing powers and we're going to, we're going to guide you and we're going to activate you to do this uh, work yourself you know, to, to, because that is where your true power lies. You, we believe that you can heal yourself. We're just going to create the sacred space and call you forward and um, give me the tools. And of course, we'll, we will support you in that. Um, yeah, I'm going to post these slides. I think we've talked pretty much about all of this. Uh, the feminine wound is huge when it comes to money, because let's talk about this really quick. I want to just do a little side thing. Um, when I first started my business um, in 2007, I think around 2000, I took a women and wealth class, women and wealth class from the local therapist. It was really informative, and then I decided to teach it because I was like, "Shit, everyone needs this." And what I realized is that in 1972, the year that I was born, women still needed a cosigner for a loan, for a credit card, and for a mortgage, like. In 1972, like we've come a long way, but like it's not that far ago. Like we have collective trauma around money. We have, you know, coming out of a patriarchal society, there's been a tremendous amount of financial abuse and um, disempowerment and, and, and abuse of power when it comes to money. So there's a lot of fear collectively for women around money. And until we clear that, we're uncomfortable being in our power because we've seen you know, it's like, oh, I don't want to be in my power of money if that's what it looks like, right? Because we've had the models, um, or maybe the men in our life haven't been um, as egalitarian, you know, with money and honoring of our power um, with it. So we have to claim our power back from those cycles and from those models and realize that money is just energy. And when we own our power, money just activates that. It just... Um, you know, if you are grounded in your heart and your soul's purpose, money's just a tool and it's just going to expand that. Yeah. Um, and some of the wounded, we're also going to help clear up some of these collective feminine wounds around the victim, withholding money, neediness, codependency, um, using your kids as an excuse to not go for your vision or your dream, or, you know, that's sort of the old mother template. Um, or being afraid of, of what your family might say if you were to be the first woman in your family to be financially independent. Um, what are some other ones? Oh, the, the archetype of the prostitute, right? You see this a lot, like women staying in relationships where they're trading money for sex and security um, or training sex for money and security. You know, we want to, it's still a, a, a it's still a disempowering cycle. So we want to end, end really clean and clear and just without judgment, raise the consciousness, call our power back from these um, disempowering cycles. Um, and really empower your emotions. That's really a core piece of our strategy and how we are, um, we are here to support you. So that's really 
pretty much it. We are being called. If you're in this group, you are being called. And we're tremendously on fire about this. This again is a movement. We have a, a small space. We're doing 10 people, just 10 people. We want to make, this is an international mastermind. We want to make sure that everyone has the space that they need to get the tools, the support, to have a voice, to um, really shine. So between Adahia and I and everything else we have going on, we thought 10 would be a great group. We start this Tuesday. Um, so if you are being called and you want to find out more information, private message me or Adahia. Um, I will tell you this, you know, this does require an investment. This is a business mastermind for creative visionary mothers and change agents to really up their game. So this, we're inviting you to up your game and help us birth this new mother template where it really is about surrendering to soul. And we're going to support you. We're going to hold you accountable to that. We're going to give you the business tools and the business acumen, as well as the emotional support and the quantum tools to kind of to, to leverage that next level for you, whatever that looks like. The investment is $9,000 uh, US dollars, or if you're watching today, um, it's 8,000 if it's paid in full. And then we have a couple of payment plans um, options, uh, $3,000 deposit, and then $1,000 every month, $5,000 deposit um, with a $750 monthly payment. And we are, um, so there are weekly calls, um, and I'll post all of this in the um, slides below. There are weekly calls. So we are meeting weekly. We have found, and I found this in my facilitator training, that the more consistent that we meet, that we come together, the more potent that container is and the consistency in your own alchemy and your own mastery, right? It, it just sets up a structure so that you feel supported, that you feel you're, like you're part of a tribe, that you're not alone, and you can move and clear stuff as it comes up very, very quickly. The results are crazy. Um, and then, of course, there's a Facebook group, and then we do have an optional but very encouraged two-day retreat in New Orleans, Louisiana, my birthplace, which is all about, you know, following your heart's desire, leading from soul and play pleasure and prosperity. So we're going to be doing some, we have some great live content planned, super, super juicy. So you want to join us. This is going to be um, so much fun. So fun is really important for boss mamas, right? Because we're, um, we're really upping our game and it's, it's like, you know, the, the joy and play is really where we manifest. And so if you want to get in that vibrational game of wealth, you have to be focused on your joy. You have to be focused on your play. You have to do things that are fun. Like I don't do anything that's not fun. Of course there's work involved, you know, like putting this together, but it's fun for me. It's play. We make it fun. We make it playful. And that's one of the things I love working with um, Adahia Sun. Um, out of here as well. So this is speaking to you. Um, contact one of us, just private message, write a comment in the group, um, whatever, however you feel called. Thank you. I so look forward to getting to know each of you more, um, whether or not you join the mastermind. We do start on Tuesday. So if you want to join us for this six month powerhouse group, um, message now so that we can have a conversation and see if it's a good fit for you. Okay, lots of love. Bye for now. Oh, I just saw some comments, so I'm going to stay on here for a bit. Sorry, guys. I was looking at my slides that were not. Um... Get, get so Hello, jealous. Marisha. By Barker, yeah, it's been thinking a lot about it should be paid for my husband's check or something. Awesome, yeah, Janet. I think I've been watching you. You're on fire, Mama. Totally, I'd love to chat with you. Okay, and Narisha, you too. You woman, mm, beautiful work you all are doing. I see you. I see you. Yeah. I mean, I'm so excited about this group. Okay, lots of love. And let's all send some blessings to Adahia. I know that she's had the um, uh, 
you know, stomach flu. She's kind of barfy. So let's send her a little, little love that way. And this is after being up with her son who had it for days. So we know all what that's like. I went through that this spring. Not fun. The whole, the whole house got it. Okay. Lots of love. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.